Hi guys, today I'm going to be making my version number two for Penus and this is a much softer, stickier version than the one I made prior. So I really really love this version and I prefer it over the other one. It still has that crumbly texture but it's way sweeter, it's way creamier and it's my go-to recipe from now on. So stay tuned, let me show you guys how I make this one. And for this recipe I have here one liter of milk because I'm making a smaller amount this time. You will need a bowl and a, a strainer to strain your curds out once you get your curds. I have a tin of evaporated milk, one cup of powdered milk and that's full cream powdered milk. You can use dairy dairy, needle or clim. I have some sweetened condensed milk, lime juice, sugar and that sugar is to help this curdle faster because sometimes you have to wait very long for your milk to curdle and the trick to curdling it faster is using that um, sugar. I also have some freshly grated ginger, some essence and some cinnamon sticks. So you will find a list of ingredients for this recipe down below in the description box. So you want to start by putting up your milk to heat up. Next to the milk I'm going to add in my carnation milk. And I'm going to add in the powdered milk. Whisk in to combine. And make sure you have your heat on low because if you were to put this on medium or high, it's going to burn and your penis will not taste nice. Trust me, I've done that already and it does not taste nice. You'll have to start all over. Once your milk is warm, it doesn't have to be like boiling hot, but once it has warmed through, you're going to add in your lime juice. And now we're going to wait for this to curdle. Now, to help the curdling process, my mother-in-law taught me this trick. She said add some sugar, just a little, mix that in and it will help curdle the milk much faster. Okay so the milk has started to curdle and it just took like about 6 minutes and the reason why it didn't take very long is because that sugar helps it to curdle really quickly. So I'm just going to leave this let it curdle some more and then we'll move ahead. After 8 minutes. My milk has finished curdle. I'm just going to take it off the stove and I'm going to set it aside. You don't want to leave it on the hot stove because it can burn at the bottom. Now what you're going to do is take a strainer and you're going to go in and strain out the curds. Place the curds into a separate bowl. Let me just show you what it looks like. It would, it would want to resemble cheese and you're going to continue doing this until you strain out all of your curds. Okay once you have your curds you're going to put up a pot to heat up on medium heat and to your pot you're going to add in your curds. So I know for the other recipe I used the iron pot but for this recipe I'm going to use this non-stick pot. So to this, I'm going to add in my cinnamon sticks and the ginger, vanilla essence or extract, and the condensed milk. And you can add as much condensed milk or as little as you like. And I'm using condensed milk in place of sugar today. Now you're going to cook this on low until that water has evaporated and your penis mixture is very crumbly. So I just tasted the penis and it needs some more condensed milk. So I had put in a half of a tin, I'm going to put the rest of the condensed milk. Okay so after half an hour of cooking, this is what it looks like, it's slightly brown. I don't want it to get that very dark brown color. This is the way that I want it and I have to say with the condensed milk instead of using sugar and using that condensed milk it really has made a difference with the creaminess of this penis and I would say that I prefer this version better over the other version that I, that I made previously. 
so this is finished I like mine a little bit sticky or a little bit wet if you like it drier then by all means all you have to do is cook it out until it dries out but this is ready I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dish this out and show you guys what it looks like so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe as I said this would be my new go-to painless recipe you will have to make this one you're absolutely going to love the creaminess and the texture of it so thank you all for watching if you're new to my channel i hope you like and subscribe and i will see you all another day with another one of my recipes enjoy